Apple Knocker Radio. Go to Rockefeller Center and you could spend two hours walking around Rockefeller Center looking at all the statuary and mosaics and, and murals and getting all the breakdowns of the esoteric meanings of it all. And, you know, other than the kind of mythological and Masonic kind of esoteric themes, uh, there's a, uh, that we find in like the, the Masonic and uh, municipal buildings and corporate buildings of Manhattan. Obviously Rockefeller Center is a corporate complex. The Rockefeller family, family built uh, Rockefeller Center as a part of the standard oil, uh, you know, operation and, uh, and all their other interests, I guess, in banking and everything else they're into. And uh, there's a theme. And, you know, before I mentioned, you know, uh, Beau Arts architecture. And what's interesting about uh, Rockefeller Center is Rockefeller Center is technically uh, Art Deco. Everything is in the Art Deco style, including the artwork. But because the themes of the artwork and the statuary, although they are in the style of Art Deco, they're all of neoclassical themes and mythology for the most part, not all of them, but the majority of them are. Uh, it's a fusion of the Beaux Arts tradition of neoclassical revival with the Art Deco school, which of course was trendy in the 1930s uh, when Rockefeller Center was built. Um, and a lot of the uh, mythological or esoteric uh, themes that you find in Rockefeller Center have a lot to do with the uh, kind of elite, elitist uh, bloodline beliefs of the Rockefeller family uh, and uh, some of the weird clan some of their family's weird clandestine political activities uh mm. during the uh early part of the 20th century uh so in terms of the mythological stuff you have like there's a a, a mural at rockefeller center uh that depicts uh essentially demons falling out of heaven really which is a reference, of course, to the fallen angels falling from heaven and becoming Satan and the demons, right? Uh, then there's another separate mural, and I can't, I can't remember the, the titles of all these or who the artists were right now. Uh, obviously, the Rockefeller family commissioned the, all of them, um, but all of this is detailed in my book. And uh, all of this information, the dates, the people, the places will all be in my book and it will all be uh, academically sourced and cited. Uh, but um, I'm just going off of memory and my memory is way better at the symbolism than it is this guy and his bio and blah, blah, blah. So um, uh, there's another mural that is like, it's obviously like supposed to be the ancient gods bringing technology and illumination, arts and arts and sciences to man. Uh, then, of course, we know very famously above the uh, the ice skating rink. There's a statue by Paul Manship, who was famous in uh, Untermeyer, Son of Sam Research. Mm. Uh, Paul Manship has a statue at Rockefeller Center of the gilded Prometheus mm. falling from heaven. Now, Prometheus, of course, stole the fire of gods or illumination and gave it to man. Mm. And this is the mythology of Prometheus uh, mirrors the story of the fallen angels in uh, the Old Testament and Book of Anak uh, traditions. Lucifer, uh, the light bringer, right? Where Lucifer, is, as a title of Satan or Azazel, the fallen angel, meaning the light bearer, 
Uh, also, the fact that in the book of Anak, where the term Lucifer isn't used, just the names of the angels are used, like Azazel, the chief of the fallen angels, who is known by the title Lucifer or light bearer. Uh, but him and the other fallen angels are known to have taught man sciences and arts, you know. Really? Teach, yeah, if you read the book of Anak, they teach man how to, how to make weapons and how to huh. do uh, sorcery, uh, root working and astrology and uh, all types of stuff, uh, uh, animal husbandry, like everything from good sciences, uh, abortion, uh, hmm. beautification of the eyes, like makeup, uh, like all types of different stuff. That's all in the Book of Enoch? Yeah, that the fallen angels taught this stuff to man. Also in the Book of Enoch, uh, some of the archangels that are not fallen, like Michael, Gabriel, uh, Raphael, and Uriel, teach man, Enoch specifically, about like astrology and how to like, you know, follow the stars and read mm. the stars. So again, implying that the knowledge of these occult sciences is not in and of itself evil, but maybe the application and how one uses these sciences is what makes it good or bad. Hmm. And that certainly the, the fallen angels seem to be of more of the, the diabolical nature or the darker nature of it. Right. Uh, so getting back to Rockefeller Center, it, it seems obvious that the Rockefeller Sam family are are associating their family with the stories of the Sumerian Anunnaki or the gods who came to earth and created man and taught man how to build civilization. Uh, and the other theme is, you know, the fallen angels are those same entities, the Anunnaki or some of those Anunnaki are the fallen angels of biblical lore. There's also this theme of the, the Titans and like the, the new gods and like the new young gods are taking over from the old gods, the Titans, which of course is in Greek mythology. And, uh, you know, you think about like the Rockefellers as Titans of industry, right? Hmm. And then you start thinking about this Titan imagery at Rockefeller Center, and it's almost like they're saying that we're the new gods, the new titans huh. of finance, of industry, the nouveau riche taking over with, you know, J.P. Morgan Chase, Rockefeller interests wow. from the old Ro uh, Rothschild European banking interests. Um, you know, that that's what I get from it, at least. Was the, was the Book of Enoch?